last Tuesday. You're doing really well, Mike. Am I? Yeah. I think so. They sent me an email today saying that I had three absences. That's not true. In six months. That's not true. <laughs> Uh, you want to put that black thing? professional people when they want to say get your shit together they go is there anything that leadership can do to help you <laughs> that's great yeah mm. yes yeah, sir you can let me go to the other dni for free yeah please <laughs> <laughs> then i'll actually show up <laughs> i i don't know they had a um they had a meeting on on uh Tuesday. Okay. Which it which was in the middle of the holiday. Christmas was Thursday. Who? The the B and I group. The new one? No. The old one? Yes. Yeah, because they don't have lives and nobody loves them. I didn't say all that. I did. But um <laughs> You didn't need to like I was like I didn't I, I I honestly just did not remember. Yeah, who the fuck wants to do that? Tuesday? Yeah. Well, we were working on Tuesday, no? No, I think it's the Tuesday after that. That was after Christmas. Yeah, so this past Tuesday. Yeah, technically it is, like, where people are back. New now. Year's was the Thursday. Yeah. Ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know. People no, that was super ridiculous. Like, Alessandra, me and her were chatting over the break, and, like... She didn't do one? No, she was like, wait, what? Nobody's doing this. Yeah, because like, nobody's they... working. Why would they have a meeting? Like, this is so ridiculous. She was like, are you going to that? I was like, I guess. She was like, I would not go to that. <laughs> well, you didn't. <laughs> you ended up not going to that. I did not go to that. <laughs> you were too busy playing Uno with the fam, which is what I, which is what everybody should have been doing. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. It got really heated one night, bro. <laughs> bro. We, there have been so many times in my house that we had to get rid of board games because, like, people want to win. Like, it get, people get into it. <laughs> and my brother's like an excellent uno player like he's so good like it gets dicey like people start because my med family's school? always shit talking med school no no not med school oh he's good at the other game at ludo <sighs> he's so good because he's like really cutthroat and like <laughs> and that's what it requires in the other game but uno is just like strategy and my brother he's got it down i prefer strategy over cutthroat yeah yeah, he I'm is. better at that. I don't like like hurting other people because it's more fun to play the game rather than winning. Like Monopoly is fun. I'm just having a good time. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, this is like so. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I just think her sister is pretty good too. She's good at Uno. She doesn't like the super competitive. My mom doesn't like the super competitive game either. So they kind of both just watch. And then like the boys play, <laughs> it gets like, it gets kind of rough because somebody always leaves the table angry because like everybody I don't know what is going on with my family but everybody wants to win. It's like, and then the shit talking is just so like, <laughs> because the shit talking starts at dinner, and then once the, the board the comes game. out, yeah, once the board comes out, they they can't wait to fucking clear the table. And it's so much food. Like, my mom goes overboard every time. Because it's so much food. Like, we had, for Christmas, we had oxtail, a gigantic turkey, baked chicken, curry chicken, shrimp, um, fish, um, something else and something else. And then, of course, like, all the side dishes, like the mac and cheese. Yeah, you brought it. How many people brought no, everybody, li no, no, they don't bring shit. I'm the only one who brings something. <laughs> <up. laughs> um, and like my, we had two cakes because I brought a cheesecake and then my mom had like mad Christmas cake and it was so much food. And then my family's not the overeating family. We spoke about that and, and I was just like, oh, that's, that's 
strange. We're not the overeating. Like we eat like our regular. It's not like oh we have to finish so everything goes back in the fridge and you yeah. just munch for the rest of the time. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. Can I have a break? Phenomenal break. I learned so much about myself. So much about like. It it was. It's smart for you, right? Oh yeah, that was phenomenal. Interesting enough, <clears throat> the the I didn't get high at all. But so why was it phenomenal? I was eating everything in my life. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. oh my god, this sounds great. I was no, it was <laughs> it was phenomenal because. Well, first of all, the first time of anything, you gotta do it again. No. It's like, first. Um, but. Try yeah. everything twice. Upset murder. That's what Alessandra says. She's mm-hmm. like, I'll try everything twice. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay. Not murder, though. The. Um, uh, yeah, I was eating everything. But I think it was phenomenal because it was just like, oh wow, I was thoroughly brainwashed and then I did the thing that I've convinced myself. Because first when you learn something- What did you think like, would happen? No, because like you learn something and it's like, oh, this is bad, drugs are bad and blah, blah, blah. And then you convince yourself of that thing. So it solidifies in you. Because that's what we do. Like we learn something about ourselves or somebody tells us something about ourselves and then we solidify it. You know, that's why like black women feel like they need to wear extensions because they're like, I just look better. It's like, but who told you that? Oh, I just know it, I look better. It's like, oh, like they, they told you that you needed long hair because of TV. That's what you see and then you I mean, tell Or yourself. some people like it. But you don't know. You have to test something to know that you like it. Mm. You just don't know. So that was like a really, really, it was just, that part was just super liberating that, oh, okay. I did the thing that I was taught was wrong and convinced myself of was wrong. And it's not wrong. Did you cough like a motherfucker? No, everything is on camera. I, I, I really didn't. I sneezed like a few times. <laughs> What? Because of the smoke. What did you smoke? What did I smell? Smoke. Just regular weed. There was no... A joint, a bong. Just a joint. Actually, a, uh, a bong is like way cleaner because right. it filters mm-hmm. through the water. So I'm going to do that with my brother this weekend. I'm so excited. Because my brother, he has the like... Joints are pretty bad. They're not bad. It depends if you have good weed. He's a he's the doctor and he explained the whole thing to me because I was asking him about the smoke and like your lungs and this and that. He's like, no. What did he say? Because he said that um, there's no chemicals like at all, and especially if you're. <laughs> it depends what kind of weed you're getting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so he's like, the good weed or regular ass weed that just grows and it's not synthetic <laughs> at all is. Um, the smoke has no chemicals and like your lungs get a new lining like literally every day So he goes like nothing happens to you and then he goes if you filter it through the bomb because it filters through the water He's like it's even like more innocuous like nothing happens. Really? Yeah. You're a medical doctor? Yes. Does he smoke? Yes Maybe I'll give it a try So I was just like really I don't and he was like yes hmm. And then he started showing me the shit on the computer because he did like a whole dissertation on it he started showing me everything. So is it just the like, tobacco that hurts your lungs? Mm-hmm. Because he said it's not necessarily tobacco, but it's all the chemicals like that are the in tar cigarettes. And everything. He was like, there's so much of the shit that's not necessary. He's like, all these chemicals, he's like, I don't know what. Like, some of it is to get you addicted. That's fine. But there's so much in it that it's like, like why nicotine is, is bad this though, in here? Right? Nicotine is bad for you, like, it's straight up, bad. right? Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no, it's yeah. natural, but it's just bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Doesn't it, doesn't it, like, have you, do you ever pause to think about this? Like, you do research on everything, but you still haven't done the research on that, even though we've spoke about this a million times. No. What is that? I don't know. Well, my dad always told me it was bad. And, like, my dad works in a hospital, and I was just like, yeah, I guess so. Like, all right. But, like, I but mean. But you stress test everything. Yeah, stuff, so usually I that? do. But, like, I, I do trust my dad. 
like on certain things not on everything but I don't know I don't know why that is Mark I don't know but yeah I don't I would never do the <laughs> carts the cartridges yeah because no. those are horrible for you yeah no that's not good but um maybe I'll try uh maybe I'll try the bong I have tried a bong once and I coughed like a bitch really for like 10 minutes yeah no, I, I'll show you the video. It's like a 12-minute video. You saw me do the hookah. Uh, yeah. And I cough forever. Yeah. My, I, maybe, I don't know. You didn't really cough that much. You have it on video. <laughs> I was literally in the sand coughing <laughs> for like five minutes. What? Oh, I thought you meant like when we did it when because remember you had like a hookah thing when we did our a shoot. Oh, that's a va that was a like, vape, yeah. but yeah. that was like that that had no nicotine in it. And that was yeah. just it was just like steam basically yeah. like it was like the little chemical and stuff that doesn't really affect you yeah. it's not great for you but it's not like it doesn't hurt your lungs like it's yeah. not like you know like nicotine hurts yeah. <laughs> um and i did like a one hit of the hookah and it was like fuck i had i just gone forever where was this at in the beach with jeremy you remember now, oh right? my god yes mm -hmm. yeah no that was crazy i call forever same thing with the bong hit. Like I hit the bong, and I I didn't know how to hit it, right? So I oh like I like did it, and I did the whole breath, like my whole lungs, and I, and I like pulled it out, and I went, and I like I was like trying to keep it down, like you know, cause you're, and, and I'm like I was coughing like a motherfucker. This huge out of smoke came, and I was like, <coughs> it felt like my throat was bleeding. My brother said that the the senior in college. So the med school said to the senior in college that they were like doing it together and he, mm -hmm. it was his like the senior first time and he took a hit and he sucked the whole fucking weed through the thing, <laughs> sucked up the water, the whole, and he goes, Jesus fucking what Christ, do you bro. Mean? Wait, what do you mean? He sucked way too hard. <laughs> he sucked he the sucked water the up. Whole, because you know the weed. Yeah, through like the bowl. Through the <laughs> thing and it. then it comes through the water. He, he sucked, sucked the whole the <laughs> Like, oh my God. Fucking idiot! Like, whole weed is gone. I would have fucking. I've been died. saving this. I would have died. That's so funny. <laughs> let's let's just not talk about this. Oh he was just like, so happy. He was laughing so hard. I like, the whole thing went down his throat. I would have if somebody did that in front of me. I would cry. I'd make fun of them so hard. Crazy. I, I didn't said, do that. Hey, what happened? <laughs> I didn't do that. I knew better than that. I did pull pretty hard though. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Like hard, and apparently you're not supposed to light the middle of the bowl, cause it's like you get more smoke that way. So I had like the flame in the bowl, like oh, no. <laughs> taking it. Just, and it's like you have to light the side of it, like just a little bit, cause you don't want a lot. Yeah. Cause you know when you pull air through it, it makes it hotter. And I'm like, oh, well, whatever. But That's that was crazy. cool. It's I'm so happy you enjoyed stupid. yourself. Of course. I don't know about the eating. I don't know how good of a thing that is. I mean, I but. still didn't go out of control. I just yeah. had like a couple more bites than I typically would. Mm. But I was. Did it make you go to sleep? No. 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 You know, I stayed up it? with my friend. Like we. No. I heard. I mean, some weed makes you go to sleep. It depends on the strain, yeah. but. Mm. Yeah. It was. It was like pretty fun. I was just like. It was pretty good, because, I had to learn how to take it in and then release it because I was just like taking it in and then just like releasing it back and it's like no you gotta hold it that's you gotta it takes a second for your body to yeah bring it down and, and I could literally feel it going down into my lungs and like kind of coming back I was just like oh my god this is Weird. so interesting it was a very very it was a the whole thing was like very very interesting mm -hmm. that's good yeah you're going back to your brother to do it? Oh, mm -hmm. hell yeah. When are you going? This Saturday. Hell yeah. With or your maybe brother? Friday. With your younger brother? No, the younger is going back to school. Everybody is left. Oh. Yeah. Oh, with your med school? Yeah. Oh. So. You're going to hit his bong? Hell yeah. You're going to get a dick bong? Ooh. <laughs> a big old pink dick bong? <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> you gotta nobody will smoke it nobody will want to smoke it you'd be surprised okay pass it around <laughs> I'm like no I don't want to do that 
Or everybody will want to smoke it in your circle, maybe. So what are you doing? Who are you thinking about? Very interesting point. What's on your head? Um, no, it's just a completely other thing that like triggered something else. Um, okay. Pretty cool. What'd you do in your break? <laughs> you know, went to my family. <laughs> I thought you said you guys were gonna do a board game or something. Yeah, we had Monopoly, but like it never ended up working out. Wow. We ended up watching an entire season of a show in one sitting. Really? Together. What was this? It was on Netflix. Uh, highly recommend it. It's called Blown Away. Yeah. It's a glass blowing show. Really fucking cool. The, I didn't even know the shit people could do with glass. <laughs> you gotta relax with the judgment here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mark went, what the fuck? I okay, no. watched a show on Netflix too. Yeah. Called Atypical. Oh, I, I've seen that. It looks interesting. I learned so much about you in that show. What's it about? It's a, about a guy who has autism and how the whole thing works. Yeah. <laughs> it was, no. Okay. <laughs> No, trust. You have to watch the show. About me? Yes. What did you learn? What does this even mean? You have to watch it first and then we'll compare notes. Ooh. It's so... Give me a quick, like, one-two. I mean, I know a lot of, a whole bunch of stuff, like, off the top of my head that would be, like, really interesting and that, like, taught me. Uh, a lot of shit like for example like facial expression um, intimacy with strangers routines um, disruptions like all of those things was like they explained it in the show and you saw it in like real life and so if you had somebody in your life who was like like autistic or like on the spectrum or whatever it just like oh my god that's what that means it, it was like a glossary for everything. Is that what you found? Yes. You found a lot of these similarities with me? What? Are you... Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you for keeping all of that in. <laughs> Mark was gonna go up and be like, what the fuck, why are you asking me this? Like, yeah, obviously, but he just kept it. Weird. Uh, Am I autistic? Are you autistic? I don't know. You, you watch the show. Aren't you a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a doctor? <clears throat> um, so how was the glass blowing show? So wait, you, your stepmom, your dad. And my brother. And your brother. Did the girlfriend come? No. You all sat down and watched this entire thing? The whole season. How many? 10 episodes, episodes 20 minutes. Oh, well, they were short. Bad. Yeah, they were short episodes, oh, okay. like 25, 25 minute episodes. Okay, like four and a half hours. So, how was that experience? It was good. Really fucking cool. Yeah, I liked it. I yeah. reached out to my. No, I'm lying. I forgot because I was supposed to do it, but I was, it's <laughs> in the mix. Nice. But I have my friend who his wife is an expert glass blower, so I want to do it. Oh yeah, I, I texted you mm -hmm. over a break. I was like, bro, I have an idea. Yeah. Because the shit these people can do is like incredible in the sculptures and stuff, and I think it'll really add to what we're doing. Oh uh, yeah, for so, sure. So I think that'd be really cool. Um. Yeah, that, and then I, I came back for New Year's. I came back earlier, a few days oh, earlier yeah? before that, yeah. I've been here for a few days. <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I couldn't do it. Because mm -hmm. Artem left, and I left. I did one more day, and I left. Yeah. When when did you leave? Like, right after Christmas? Tuesday. BNI. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's okay. okay. Because you, like, my dad in the morning was like, or the day before, or like on Saturday, on Sunday, was like, talking about, he's like, oh yeah, we're gonna buy a new generator and everything, and like, a ten thousand dollar generator and i'm like are you fucking serious it's like i i didn't say anything i was like but i was like i was livid it was like a few weeks ago he's like i don't have money 
I'm like, bro, I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the head. And then he's like, he, my like name day was on the 27th. What's your name day? Svento Stefan, Saint Stefan, in oh. Romania, in Orthodox. And he's like, oh, like let me get you something for like your name day, which he never does. I guess he wanted to do it because like he knew I needed money or something. And then I don't know what the fuck. It's like he wants to give me money, but he doesn't at the same time. Super fucking weird. And then I just like he's like, oh, let me get you something like for a hundred bucks. And I just like didn't respond. I didn't say anything. And then like I. He like I'm like whatever, and I really quiet train like car ride back to the train station. I didn't say anything really, and then he like just sent me 150 bucks. I'm like, this is like weird. I mean, I took it obviously, but like, I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? You did you say thanks? Sort of. <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty pissed off, but yeah, I came back and mm. hung out with Hope. Quite a few days, so I hit the bomb. No, that was like a few, like before break, but yeah, and a little New Year's got together. Yeah, yeah, hang out with some people. It was cool. Nothing super interesting. Nice. New Year's was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go out? No, one of my friends was like, "Hey, you wanna?" Ring in the New Year's, he's like, fuck yeah, because he's like super fucking fun. He yeah, have some friends over, some people? No, are. no, it's just me and him. Oh, it was nice. just really, really cool, really fun. He he pulled a Steven on me and he whipped out like everything that I've ever told him that I've ever liked since I've known him. And then, the pierce the resistance. At midnight, he whipped out this fucking, his law firm had given him this like super expensive Moet. And when he when he popped them all, I was just like, "Whoa!" It's like only the best. I was like, oh, "Of course!" It was just phenomenal. Like it was it was it was perfect. It was a really really. Cause I was gonna hang out with my family, and then he messaged me, and he was like, "Hey, do you wanna? What are you doing for New Year's?" And I knew he wanted to like ask me mm-hmm. to hang out. And I was just like, nah, "I'm not gonna help him." And <laughs> he did. He, he went, just you just like strung him along until he like, actually asked you. Yep. Nice. And a few days later Oh he my was, god He goes The next morning Ridiculous. He goes Do you know how nervous I was to ask you To hang out I was just like yeah, You should be Yeah <laughs> You should be nervous It's just okay That's good for you Um But Yeah So Now Yes What the fuck is this thing That you texted me about yesterday Oh So My friend has a DoorDash account. Did you know on DoorDash you don't have to go through the whole thing like you do with Face uh, Postmates? What do you mean? Like the background check and the this and the that. You can just like, and then you can log into somebody else's account. There's not even a photo. Okay. Yes. So he was just like, Mark, you can make like two hundred dollars in like four hours. Like I was like, really? He's like, yes, like two hundred and fifty, three hundred. So he's like, why don't you just like tape my thing and then just like do whatever you want? And I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. So I was saying that we could like rent a car, like like a really, really like little tiny ass car. <laughs> and then we could just like do it at night and then just like stack up, pay off everything that we owe and then just like start buying like new shit. I don't know. I mean, why don't we just make an account? Because I don't want it to... I can't be bothered if it takes forever. Like, we can do it. We can, like, get an account. But I don't know. I, it's like, what if it take, takes forever? This is, like, it's too much. Um, so, yes. I was just like, perfect. We're doing it. So. Right. And, like, he never uses the account. So... Mm-hmm. He even lends it to one of his friends. He was like, oh yeah, my friend does Postmates and he doesn't make any money. And if he really wants money, he just like logs into my yeah, thing. Yeah, Postmates suck. Yeah. So does Uber. I was just Uber like, kind of sucks too. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. Like you saw <laughs> the shit recently with me. <laughs> it took two hours to make like 20 bucks. Yeah. And that was so weird. Yeah. Was um, so the... It was, it was like, I was just like, perfect. We're gonna do it, whatever. So you should get an account, mm-hmm. um, but, and you can cash out the same same way like you do on Postmates, or if you wanna wait. No. Um, <laughs> I was hoping that, um, 
that it was something. I mean, I'm excited because of all these fat money. But, well, I mean, now we won't need it for, like, the next 10 weeks because we're going to be having money from from Trump. No. I need it. You do? Yeah. You've been buying a lot? No. Oh. But, like, dude, we have shit to pay for, like... The rent. Yes, and your rent and my rent and, like... Well, I'm going to pay most of my rent in a little bit. Like, once you get it tomorrow, right? Like, I'm going to pay, like, 300 bucks. Yeah. I had no money, like zero dollars. Really? Yeah, because I put all of it back into the for the insurance. Yeah, me too. I only had like what forty bucks, I think, yeah. for a little. <laughs> and I, I was like eating too. <laughs> so I was just like, all right, fuck it, whatever. Um, now you have money. You have the six hundred, right? Yeah. You paid rent. No. My rent is nine hundred dollars. Plus, I put fifty in the business because I wasn't sure like what was gonna happen. I didn't want something to come out on it like, yeah. insufficient. So, would you? Did you use it? I have right? been using it. You've been using the six hundred. Yeah. I needed food. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm gonna figure out where the fuck my check is. Where? So what? Um. The so tomorrow they said 450. it's it's three hundred plus the regular. I see how that goes. <laughs> That'll be fine. How long are they gonna do that for? Oh wait, but they have the back money. They're gonna give us nope. no back. Mm-hmm. Wow. They yeah. change your minds on that? Yeah, the ten weeks of that. Of four fifty. So it'll be four thousand dollars. Eat between the two of us. Forty five hundred dollars. For you forty eight. Sorry. We can join the accelerator. What? Brian who? Which Brian? The the one New who Chip? I told you. Yeah. What? Not is it New Chip? Kiwi Tech? No, New Chip. Oh. Because What did you say? You had a conversation with him, right? Yeah. Let's talk about it. So um he was like dude. What, what like he was just explaining the whole thing to me and then um he was like this this has nothing but upside because if after like the 10 months you have like no suitors like nobody wants to invest in mm-hmm. your company we give you all of the money back right so that's number one number two he goes like you have me in your corner so i'll be like checking and he then likes us likes yeah he really likes us yeah so he's like moving to investor relations so he's gonna be responsible for bringing in more investors cool. and deepening the relationship that they have with the current investors so he's moving from like customer acquisition which is like bringing yeah. people like us on board and then he's going over to that side of the business so he's like we're gonna have like higher quality people investors and you know whatever he's so, a good sales fit person he's really good so i was saying to him like i don't understand like there's so many companies out there like why are you on me you know like it's mm-hmm. super weird it seems like you have nothing yeah. you know really going You're on honest. he's like yeah and he goes well of course like i want you because i don't care about most people but i even if it's not creator mm-hmm. it's like the, the like person behind us yeah uh, well you so i was <laughs> just like okay cool great and so we were just like talking talking he was like explaining the whole thing to me i think it's good and he was like you can do like we lowered it for you already (laughs) so he's like start with a thousand dollars and you know do the monthly payments and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but at least you have that guarantee that we'll give it back to you and i go all right it's even more money though what do you mean to invest in it to invest in what? In the in 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 this accelerator. Most accelerators like they even give you housing and stuff for free. Yeah. And everything. It's like kind of weird. But I'm not saying it's per se a scam. I think but I think I think what for for the for what it is, it can be anything but upside because you can because they're gonna teach you how to business which we're kind of like figuring, like guessing. Mm. 
man. So I'm like really, really, really excited. I just wish it was for free. There was no buy-in. Yeah. Like, if you believe in the company, then like, you know, like why the fuck do we need to buy in? We don't have money. But don't they charge you more when everything is for free? Like they take a bigger back end. Yeah. So what's the problem? I would prefer to pay money up front than for you to get two more percent, which in like a year and a half will be 150 grand. Yeah. I mean, when you really work it out. Not disagreeing. Hmm. So, I don't know. So that's kind of like where. I want to do it. Yeah. Find the money though. You gotta reach out to all the people. What people? The people who people on the people. Um no. <laughs> um, to the uh, the people who responded to the emails. No, the people we sent pitches to. Well, I mean, I guess we're not doing that eight hundred thousand dollar home in Jersey City, but. I have no idea what you're talking about. Staging. Oh, so all the people who responded to the email. No, all the people who we s who we sent proposals to. Oh yeah, all of that is happening starting tomorrow. He didn't. He didn't. He's not interested, right? Like, I think the guy just is so fucking cold in here. Is it? Yes. I'm not cold. I'm like literally dying. Um, the the I, I think the developer. But you know what? This guy added me on um <laughs> on Facebook. Who? Adam. Oh, he's cool. I was just like, okay. Whatever. I saw the friend request. I was like, all right. Mm. My God. I wouldn't. I'll. I'll tell you off here. Remind me to tell you something. This about Adam. <laughs> Who is this about? It is. Well, yeah. just go now. No, I can't. No. What did he do to you? I'm, what did he no, say? No, did he no, touch no, you? No. I no. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you off here. That's that. Uh, oh my God. Um. So. What about you, Yael? Yael. She's on vacation. I think she comes back like yesterday or something. She comes back yesterday. <laughs> uh, but um, hopefully we get a response from that. Yeah. That would be the best. That then we can just pay the other up front. Like here's four K. We don't have to think about it, and then pay our rent and then all the other rents. Go ahead. And buy a lens. <laughs> yeah. We need that lens, bro. Yeah. So we can get some jobs, some quick jobs. Jobs. <laughs> you need some um, shit. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, I'm have to like categorize all these people, cause everybody's in HubSpot and whatever. But I have to see like how I'm gonna respond to them, because like I don't want to attack anybody today, because now everybody's just like going through their emails and just responding. Okay, fine, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, fine. Okay. Like, I don't want to be one of those. So I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow, or possibly even Wednesday, to be like, hey, hope your break was good, da da da, let's set up the meeting, this and that. Because I had some really, really cool shit in the pipeline. That woman from the BNI, she introduced me to this like super winning team. They have their, like, the houses that they do, it's like 20, 30, 40, 50 million. Mm -hmm. And they all responded to me. Oh nice. Yeah. And they were like, All right, in the new year we're gonna mm. set it up, don't worry. Yeah, this you and told that. me about this. Yeah. We're gonna call you're gonna call that guy, right, Nicholas? Yeah. Now? Wouldn't that be great? Let's do it right now. Do it on the thing. What time is it? We couldn't renew your subscription. With who? With who? Um QuickBooks. Oh. Weird. What happened? Is there no not enough money? Oh I oh yeah, because I use it to buy a card. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put it tomorrow. Don't worry. So why don't you just put it now so that they can? Cause I have money. Did your dad give you one fifty? Two weeks ago, a week ago, a week and a half ago. So why when I asked you if you needed money, you said no? Cause I didn't need money. This was two days. This was yesterday. Well, I want to be able to buy lunch today. I have enough to buy lunch today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna get money. So I'll be alright. <laughs> um, let me see how much is this um, QuickBooks yeah 
It's uh, 27, I think. So why, I put $50 in there. Why wasn't there the, oh, you said you bought the card, but how much was the card? It's 16 bucks. And then what is this $27? So you've been eating out of the business account and I said like, hey, let me give you this and then you said no? Have I been eating out of the business account? Yes. What the fuck is Mo Grill Corp? For oh 27 my bucks. I used the wrong card then. Well, thank God I did because I barely have enough now. I guess I did need a little bit of money. <laughs> my bad, I'm sorry. Are you lying? Why would I be lying? What? That makes no sense. You have access to the account. Why would I use money out of it? No, because like some people, sometimes people say, "Oh, like I use it by accident." It's like, mm, is is that untrue? No, it's not untrue. Okay. The cards look exactly the same on my thing. I have to look at the numbers, and I've done it before. Okay. Um. All right. So Nick. Yeah, you're gonna call him. Let's call him Nick. Nick. Did we bill him? We didn't bill him yet, right? No. Okay. What is it, like $400? I have to check the thing. Um. Why is my phone sticking? I don't know. Maybe it's not meant to be. Is your phone broken? I don't. Oh no, it's not broken. It's, that was ridiculous. You are ridiculous. All right, here we go. Daryl Nixter. The Nickmeister. You better not screen your call. Hi, Nick. Yes. Hey, it's Mark Rankin from Creator. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Great. Um, so I wanted to follow up on the um, the listing that you had that was supposed to be tomorrow, but you said the client is, uh, you know, like they're not sure when they want to list it yet, so we're holding off on the photo shoot. Yeah, we. It's still up in the air. Okay. All right, great. So yeah, I wanted to just like, um, you know, like follow up with what I was saying about the, about the edits. So just to clarify what I was saying, it's that not that we are not gonna do the edits, but I was talking to my business partner today who is also the photographer stuff that you um, did the shoot with. It's that right. we would much rather to bulk whatever you would like, whatever changes you would like, as opposed to, all right, hey, fix this, and then it's fixed, and that, oh, can you fix this, and then, you know, so if you bulk it, we would do that twice. No so problem. whatever number of changes or whatever number of edits you'd want, because it's just like efficiency, and it will give you like a better end result. So I just wanted to point that out to you, and just to make sure that we're on the same page as it regards you know, moving forward or other projects that would do. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So um, let me know when this client wants to move forward. And if you have anything else, we're definitely here to help. All right. I'll let you know. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Oh, poor guy. Why? I, when, when, um, when, when people, when people act like that, it, it makes me kind of sad. Like him? Yeah. Yeah. It makes me a little bit sad. What aspect of it? <laughs> All of it. Because it's like... Like his entire demeanor? It's like... Uh, it's it's kind of troubling. It's like, oh, listen to this. I want to ask you, like... And... You can, um... This is not a sentence. You can't lie, but you can choose not to respond, which okay. is fine. Um, 
yesterday at 7 11 p.m i go i found a way to make us some um, good money every week i'm so pumped exclamation mark i'll tell you tomorrow actually three exclamation marks i'll tell you all about it tomorrow i'm so fucking excited to see you and you go i'm ready and i go fuck yeah quick question for you were you being intentionally cold no I wasn't. I, I was with someone. That so was like a short response, like a short response. I think you've been a little cold with me. What do you mean? Like what? I don't know. Well, finicky. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Because on Christmas, I called him, and on New Year's, I also messaged him. I messaged you back. No, you did it not. It didn't go through. I'm just saying. You know, you're saying I'm cold to you, but you never took up your phone and messaged nor called me. So that's wild. Because... <laughs> so, find yourself in a little bit of a... Quantity there. Thing. Sure. Sure. So he said... Now I'm cold. When we talked last time, you were all short with me, and then you were like not responding to my texts for two days, which is very unlike you. So I'm like, all right, maybe he just wants a little bit of him time. So I didn't really get too involved. Sounds like poor shit to me. All right. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, I have a doctor's appointment today at 11 in the city. So. And you didn't think around. of telling me this? Um, and I'm cold. It's a doctor's appointment. Well, you could have told me. Oh, I'm sorry. You do the same thing. If I was like, if I just pulled that up on you, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" What the fuck about what? Like, if I needed, if we were going some some place, or we were working on a project together, or if you're gonna be late, or if you're gonna leave early, then I'll be like, "Hey, you wanna tell me?" But if it's like, you know. It's the same thing. What if I was leaving early? No, then I would want to know, but I'm not leaving early. I'm going to come right back and. and, and, and it's the same thing. Doing. Is it? If I leave, if I leave at like two o'clock, right? And. You, I think two o'clock is different than like going for an hour and a half. You're going to be gone for like t at least two and a half hours. That's not true. Yeah, the doctor's always takes longer than you think. Not my doctor. So if I went the last time and the whole thing was like one, two. Because, like, you actually have an appointment. Right, so let's say I leave at 3.30 then. It's the same thing. <laughs> you see what I mean? No, but if you're going for recreation stuff versus if you're going, for, you're, you're going to the doctor, that's a very different thing. It's the same thing, Mark. Is it? You could have just let me know. I, mean, I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I didn't think of it. I'm sorry. It's all right. So you could get your affairs in order. Yeah. What am I going to do for an hour and a half here by myself? I might die. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I have to figure out how to categorize and how to, like, get back with these people. Because a lot of, I think uh, some people are still not back. And I don't want to, I don't know, like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. But... Summer sent me a nice card. Mm, no? Yeah. It was really nice. nice. I was just like, oh, it's summer. Our insurance company sent us... Oh, no, Cohen. It, this place sent us a calendar. Where is it? I don't know. I think I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like one of those like monthly flip? Yeah, it might be over there. You didn't want you like didn't a tiny paper one. Oh, I thought it was like no, a big no, one no, that you no. did. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's garbage. Oh. It's like, yeah. hey, pay your rent. Like, here's a gallon. <laughs> yeah, so we have to figure out how to. I have to figure out how to categorize these people. How to like systemically reach out to them. I also need to speak to Eli 
about resuming the outreach for mm -hmm. the photo and video. So there's a guy in my BNI who we're doing some work with. Um, well, he was getting doing, some responses already, right? Yeah, Before it, was it was nothing, but it was like at least people responding. Yeah. Um, so he's gonna restart that. We stopped that like a few days before Christmas because, like, of course, I didn't realize that, and I fucked up because I should have stopped sending these emails a week before. Mm, no, maybe like two days before. Like Christmas was Thursday. Oh, a week before Christmas is what I meant. But you were talking a week before when you actually stopped. No. Like, I stopped, like, maybe the Monday or Tuesday, and I shouldn't have gone past Friday, the Friday before. Yeah. Um, because everybody, I was like, why is no one responding? Why is, I don't understand what's going on. And I was like, oh, shit. But then this guy is, like, so much more of a pro than me. Like, he goes, yeah, I'm not going to do anything past, like, the Thursday before. And I was like, okay. Yeah. I, I didn't understand why, but I just said fine. And then I, it. Yeah, no one was here. No one's here. No one was anywhere. <laughs> yeah, everyone was away. Um, what what did it look like coming in today? What do you mean? Like traffic in terms of like people? Yeah, it looked like normal. Normal, uh, as in like dead or normal like before. Mm, before. Same amount of people. I didn't see anybody in my train station. Normal. Oh, train. you're talking on my train. My train is packed. Really? Yeah. Both my trains are packed. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot. Um, okay. Well, yeah. I was on the train like 15 minutes after you, though, so that's probably why. Mm -hmm. There's like a rush at like 7.20 and then one at like 8.20. So. What, what are you doing today? Ah, shit. Motherfucker. I finished, I actually finished, um... I made email signatures for us, but they're on my other computer. And I fucking forgot to upload it to the drive. I'll do that tonight. Um, I Does was in... Move? What? Does it move? No. Do you want it to move? I thought you said you were gonna do that. I didn't think about it. I didn't think there was anything, like, on it to move. I can animate it, but it's not like... Sorry. I, I, you just mentioned it. Yeah. Whatever. Do you want it to move? I don't care. Okay. Um, yeah. I was thinking I should buy a domain today. For what? For the email marketing for this guy. He already has that set up. Oh, he bought it and everything already? Well, he's already sending the email, so clearly he has something set up. Ask him. Sure. We can get on a call with him. Mm -hmm. I'll ask him tomorrow at the meeting. Okay. I have to text Jay. Schedule his shoot today. He already paid the money, right? I gotta follow up though, make sure he's, he's good and everything. Oh, Jay. Oh, the gift Jay. that keeps on giving. Oh, Jay. We gotta get the money. Yeah. Well, so, that, I have that on here, The what we just talked about. Getting the money for um, Nicholas. We have to bill him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to show me how to do that, because I, I want to take that off your plate. I made an um, account for myself, too. I saw that. Yeah, so... Um, our own thing yeah. and then I just have to keep going on the social media stuff that's my thing for today I don't like I did some editing on the website over the break and I like touched a few other things up on it so that's all good now so there's nothing there um, and apart from that like I was figuring like yeah I don't know about the virtual staging maybe we can just get someone to do that for us but you try I can learn it. It's just gonna take a while. It's like a lot of it's a lot of work, honestly. Oh, so you didn't even bother with it? No, I did. I did, and I figured out how to do it, but it's just quite a bit of work. And also, like, three D Max is expensive. I can do it in Photoshop, a lot easier. We didn't pay for the subscription, did we? No. Three no. okay. <laughs> D Max is like three hundred dollars a month. Um, but I, I figured out how to do it in Photoshop, and I can do it in Photoshop if I need to. Like, do it fine in Photoshop if I need to. And, like, make it look accurate. We should, um... We should... Test some of the people on Fiverr or whatever. Because if we're gonna use them... I don't know about Fiverr. 
I think we should just use one of the agencies. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I think they'll do a better job. Who was I talking to and they were like, oh, I have a guy. Wait, didn't you say you found someone in the Philippines or something like that? Yeah, on Fiverr, but I don't think it's going to be as good. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I think they're going to use that same software. Like an agency here in the U.S., so make sure it's like really high quality work. You know, so. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, that's it for me. But when you say social media, what are the goals? Like, what are you doing? The goals right now are getting like all of the content that I have aggregated in my file, my Premiere file, and cutting them down into videos that like make actual sense so we can put them out on, on our platforms. That's the goal, which I'm pretty far along in doing. I just need to continue on that. We have a lot of content, so it's like a lot of work. I have a, I, I met a guy and I took the meeting with him. Um, and basically what he does is that he teaches you like how to launch something and monetize within like a few months. Um, but his benchmark is like six months and one year. Um, but you pay, but that, the shit that he teaches you is like transferable to like whatever platform, yeah, whatever you're doing. Sure. Um, it's kind of pricey, it's like 2,500, but I really want to do it because if you can learn I don't want to do this stuff anymore, Mark. I understand. <laughs> Most of it is a scam. Like 99% of it is a scam. Mm -hmm. And you know that. Yes. But... Even if it's not a scam, it's usually not helpful. Everything that guy can, that guy. There's a full battery. You just put it over here and just put it back in the charger. Everything that guy can teach you mm -hmm. is online for free. Mm -hmm. So why don't you get it, put it together, and then launch the thing? I've been working on it. That's part of it. Like a lot of the social media stuff is included, like with that. What we're trying to launch right now is our social media platforms, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting all that content together right now. And from there, we can we can build on that, like with the releases and everything, but one step at a time. See, like, I don't mind. I, you work differently than me. I work better, or I learn better in like a structured environment. Like, okay, this is what you do. And I can like follow anything. It's just like I can make anything because I'm very, very good at following a recipe. But for you, it's like, oh no, I don't want somebody to tell me because 99% of it is bullshit. Like I'll just go hunt the information myself, which is fine. But all right then, so let's do it. Okay. That's what I've been doing. I think you're confused on like what I'm doing. Well, Steph, you don't seem to know what you're doing because if I ask you, you're like, oh, I'm just working on social media. I'm cutting up clips. I'm like, oh, okay, this is what's like, the strategy? It's two hours. It's two years of clips that I have to cut and put together into something cohesive. Yes. So but what's the plan, Steph? Once it's done, cut up, then what's the plan? What are you going to do? Like all the other people and just like put out the content and hope that somebody watches it? No, but right now this is the first step. I once I get to the second step, then I'll do that and I will look into that. But this is like I need we need to do something with this content. We have all this shit. I need to cut it up, get it ready, and then once I have that, I can use it as a tool. Yes, but use it as a tool to do what? You know that you still won't know what to do, right? I'm going to do the research on that once I get there. But I need this stuff done. Do you first. have a timeline for this, and how long have you been working on this? I haven't been working on it for that long. Well, you've been telling me for weeks. Mark, I've been posting on. That's like whatever. What? We've had shit. You like you you make it seem like oh like I do nothing else like I'm just if I don't do it I'm just sitting around. It's like no, 
I we have projects and we have other stuff, so I've been like working on other shit. Like things that require my time right away. So it's like I yeah, I have been working on it for a while, but it's like that's what I was I'm required to do right now because I have to fill multiple roles. You know, like you send emails and you talk to people and that takes a lot less time. It's just as important or more important even, but like it just takes less time. I love that you're explaining what you're doing by putting down what I'm doing. I'm not putting down what you're doing. What does one have to do with the other? Why can't you just explain what the fuck you're doing? Because you never, you don't quite, you, it's like you and think you're it's the same thing. And you're explaining it to thing. me by telling me what I'm doing? You know what you're doing. You're talking so why to are people. You bringing, why are you bringing that up? What does one have to do with the other? One takes a lot more time than the other. So, but what's the, I don't understand, what's the comparison? Who gives a shit? You, it's because you think it's like one, two, like, oh, you just go in and you like edit it and that's it and whatever. It's like, oh. no, I have to like do this editing for these other clients and this and that and the other thing. It's like, I'm working on it. Well, first of all, Steph, what you're doing doesn't make any sense to me because we all know that you do not need to edit the entire two years of content before you start putting something out. That's absolutely counterproductive. Anyone with a brain knows that. That's not true. So you have to edit and make the two years of content ready and, and waiting yes. before you actually start putting yes. anything out. That's fucking horseshit. I want it done. That's how my brain works. That's how my shit works. I want it done. So two months later, when you're finally finished with it, then we'll move to the next phase. It won't be two months. I made this mistake before, because um, Steven said this to me, so I will not do it. But I will tell you what my, what my initial thought is. My initial thought is, you know what? I think that's great. I think you're going to do it. I think it's going to be phenomenal. But this is what I'm doing. I'm going to figure out the money. I'm going to get do this thing with this guy. I'm going to go through my own clips and my own this and that and from put in work and from this and cut the shit how I see fit and then I'm going to put it out and then when you're ready you can do whatever you're doing and it'll be great but I'm not going to do that because Steven said that was very 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 bad and he said to me and I believed him because he had never been this candid with me before he goes I felt like I did not matter and so, I'm not going to do that. But I'm telling you, because I want to be more honest with myself and my people, that that was my initial reaction. Like, all right, great. But this is what I'm going to be doing. So, I'm not going to do I don't know why I told you that. Because I want to be more transparent. And I'm trying to do things differently. So, you're going to be a piece of shit. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for you, and you do what you do, and I'll support it. None of that helped. It helped me. <laughs> That's good. Cause I, I'm not doing what I did before. Improvement on my part. You're following? Yeah. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> That's good. I feel good. Anything else? I don't have any of the put in work episodes, they're all online. I don't know. You have them. Where are they? John has them. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, Johnny boy. You reach out to him and get him. He messaged you. Yeah. So you can just message him back. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Oh my God. Who called me? I 
must be a voice message. Is it Nicholas? Mm, I hope not. I don't think so. I wanna fucking do this. Um, what was that? <laughs> so, yeah. Do you have any last words? I guess in 12 months you'll see the first clip of social media content. <laughs> really? <laughs> From Mark's personal account. That made a lot more sense in my brain. Wow. Thank you for watching. This is fun. Um, first day back. Very, very, very excited. I wish I didn't have this doctor's appointment because it's kind of like throwing me off. Um, but I missed it the last two times because I totally, I just didn't put in my schedule. And if the thing doesn't go in the schedule, it's not going to happen. So I fucked up. And then this was the first day that they had. And I was just like, let's just get it over with. And let's just move on. Oh my God, I'm so cold. Um, so yes, it's gonna be a lot of work. We're very, very excited. Um, some big shit is about to happen. Like big, big, big shit. So like a rhinoceros did it. So that's a lot of shit. Anyway, um, I love you. And I love you. Be kind. Ugh.